Oh, there was actually mate there. But he had to go with this. So tempting to play queen f2. But let's see the speed. Same situation as last game. This should be a guaranteed dub for little Jimmy. It really should. Okay, this is better from little Jimmy. Much better. At least he just played super fast that time. He didn't even give Bam DZ enough time to react. That was better. 5-4 little Jimmy. Match point. Very close match. I'm loving this. So, Bam DZ, are we going to see the same story? Him down on time? I think the biggest win for Bam DZ in that last game was not getting checkmated on H2. Am I right? You know, that, that feels like practically a victory. I like H4, and I like the way Little Jimmy's playing. I think this is a very effective uh, setup against this uh, Pierce here. So I'd be curious how Mr. Mannard would handle this, what he would recommend for a guy like Dan Beasy, because I'm not going to lie, for sort of a newer player to the Pierce, I feel like just quick H4, H5 is super, super scary to deal with. Um, what I would say, though, is that Bam Deasy did well to open things up. Yeah, as white, I feel like you almost want to just maybe keep it closed and focus on your attack here. So we'll see if this actually works. Not saying that this is bad for white at all, but... Um, yeah, I feel like keeping it closed and just going for the attack would be, would be fine. That seems like good advice, MM. Yeah, the problem is... You know, I wonder if we're going to see this move because D5 is quite an active move. I could see this working out for Bam. Um, most likely he plays this. Could be bad news if he plays one of these moves, but normally the Pierce has you thinking more aggressively. So I think that's the right idea. Okay, I mean, is it... Okay, maybe he could long castle. But I was going to say, like, are we really playing anything but H5 here? Yep, long castle makes sense. So, Bam has a great position, but what I will say is that move looks freaky. I don't know how you're going to deal with that, so good luck. Especially giving up that dark square bishop. Good lord, this looks rough. But he's setting up threat after threat. He's baiting him. Is Mr. Jimmy going to fall for it? Even if he plays a move like this, that's a huge, huge threat he's building up. Wow. Dude, he absolutely cooked him with Bishop F5. In the crunch. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he's making a new lady. Absolutely nasty. Is he going to think that's checkmate? Maybe he should have brought the rook back. I don't know. Damn. Bishop f5 and e3. Didn't have to do him like that. Oof. Oh no. This could be it. This could be it. The comeback chance. That was the moment. I'm not saying it was forced, but I'm saying there was a there was an attempt. I would have taken that knight on a6. You have to. Yeah, no way Bam DZ doesn't win this. Absolutely no way. Okay, big comeback from Bam DZ. Trading pieces. Quality stuff. Trading that rook for nothing. Hey, good habits. Oh, Bam DZ's absolute class here. Absolute class. Yep, there ain't nothing you can do to stop that one. Mm-hmm. Making sure that was me. 
Don't blame him. And it is match point. Whoever wins this wins the match.